Thanks to modern media, celebrity Christians are now a part of our lives. For one reason or another, these people are highly regarded by the Christian community. And perhaps rightly so. One of Solomon's Proverbs tells us to give credit where credit is due. There's nothing wrong with recognizing accomplishment, even if it comes in the service of the Lord. The problems arise when celebrity Christians get larger than life. Somehow we get the impression that famous Christian personalities don't have the same challenges we do. Or sometimes celebrity Christians get the idea they aren't accountable for their actions. The Christians in the ancient Corinthian church made celebrities of their leaders, Apollos and Paul. But Paul put it in perspective when he said, I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God made it grow. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who makes things grow. Even some of Christ's disciples let it all go to their heads. The book of Mark tells us that the disciples argued among themselves about who was the greatest. Jesus answered, if anyone wants to be first, he must be the very last and the servant of all. On another occasion, the brothers James and John asked Christ if he would allow them to sit on his left and right in glory. Once again, Jesus taught the disciples a right perspective on celebrityhood. He said, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. Celebrity Christians are not a bad phenomenon in and of themselves. They just have to be kept in perspective. Celebrity Christians are sinners saved by grace, just like you and me. Remember it this way, only Jesus walks on water.